Onye Afife was so so unhappy with his father for advising Queen Naomi to stay away from the Oloris. You know, Queen Naomi and the Paropa they are they are so close. Paropa loved Queen Naomi with passion. In short, Paropa loved Queen Naomi with everything in him because Queen Naomi's character proved to him that Queen Naomi is a good woman and he decided that who is going to show Queen Naomi more love. So, you know, he used to say that he doesn't see Queen Naomi as his uh, daughter-in-law, that he sees Queen Naomi as a, a daughter. And because of this, he wouldn't want anything that will happen to Mama Tadene Kawo. That is why every time you will hear him, uh, you'll be like, um, I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. I want you to come back to the palace. You and Queen Naomi, uh, Kabi Esi, this and that, you know. And because of that, because of that, the Oloris hate Queen Naomi the more. Yes, they hate Queen Naomi the more because all the love from that palace is oh, is being forwarded to Mama Tadene Kawo. It's not as if Kabi Esi's sisters love Queen Naomi. I'm not saying that they love her. They don't love her. As long as a, a, a party line of events and all of that is concerned they don't love Kunomi because they want even as Kunomi have come back to the palace that everything should be given to them to plan for KBAC that is their plan but it's not going to work out yes not not going to work out because there's no how you will exp they will expect KBAC to to be giving them things to plan for him when Kunomi is still at the palace. And even say Faropa have also warned his daughters that they should stay away from Mama Tadini Kawo, that Tadini, uh, Kunomi did not do anything to them. Okay, what we are hearing right now is that we heard that Kunomi met with Kabiesi and told Kabiesi that she would want to call on these Oloris and address them. And it seems like Kabiesi was so happy on hearing that from Kun Naomi because you know that Kunomi have been avoiding all of them. Kunomi avoids all of them because he wouldn't want anything to, you know. Kunomi doesn't want anything that will, that will bring the two of them together. The Oloru is her. She said that she doesn't want to be associating with them. And this time around, she decided that she wants to address them as the Yolua of all sorts that she is. Hmm. So, Kabiesi was somehow happy that at least maybe corporation want to start. Even knowing that the Oloris are not what is not they are not good people. Yes, the Oloris are not good people. They hate Kunomi with passion. If they see anything that will buy Kunomi, they will bring it. So because of uh, Paropa have seen how things have been going, Paropa hear a lot of things that people, these people said against Mama Tadenikao. Paropa knows that these people doesn't like Mama Tadenikao for anything. And they said that Paropa told um, Queen Naomi that she should not try to associate with herself with these people. That she should not try it at all at all. That associating herself with these Oloris is the last thing she should think about. She should think of. Do you know why? Baropa told Queen Naomi that the Oloris you thought that they love you, they don't love you. They hate you with passion. They like, hey, my people. According to the alleged information we are we gathered, these Oloris hate Mama Tadeniko with everything in them, that they wouldn't want anything to, anything at all at all. That Kunomi, sh as in Kunomi, shouldn't breathe in air. If they are the one that give air. They will seize the air that Kunomi will breathe, so that Kunomi will buy and leave the palace for them. But you know what? Kunomi is the daughter of the Most High God. So nothing they plan, none of their plans is going to come to pass. So it's because of all of this thing that Baropa was like, uh, please don't associate yourself with them. I don't like your association with them. And when Kabiesi heard about it, he said that Kabiesi was not so happy that a Paropa advised Kunomi to stay on her lane. A Paropa told Kunomi, stay on your lane. Don't cross. Don't associate with them. And Tigbi is looking for you to plead that you forgive her. I don't know what she has done. Do not allow her to come closer to you. 
avoid them avoid them well well if you see how you are going to avoid them like avoid them like like the way people, uh, you go avoid serpent avoid them yes so kbc was not happy but you know what whether kbc is happy or not kunomi need to be protected what we want is kunomi's safety we wouldn't want anything that will make kunomi to feel uh because i want to i want to associate with them that is why they were able to do me this no let me please do not associate with them they are so poisonous to you they can buy you you are in the palace we are happy that you are in the palace we are going to be more happy if you stay in that palace and they uh, get another pregnant for kbsc as we heard that if a priest don't talk say your mission into the palace is to make kbsc the man that people thought that he can never be you know when a man marries one thing in this life is that you are growing you go up to a man they expect that you become a, a, a man you marry you are able to marry they thought that hey, you cannot be able to get your wife pregnant you get your wife pregnant you have children hey let us see how they are going to be able to train these children you train your children hey this and that you will be progressing making investments everywhere you don't go to beg people food that is what you what makes you a man yes so they thought that kbs is not going to stand but kunomi came into kbs's life and kbs stood with the bam the time kbs married, married urola urola did not give him child the people of Ilefe, the, those those fighters those king fighters because there are there are king makers why there are king fighters they try to fight mama uh, kbs to to dethrone him because he have not gotten a child kunomi came into his life god bless kunomi after all series of fight from the same olori one one of the olori that she should not conceive putting family planning pills god broke the yoke and gave mama tadeneka a child so they think they, they don't know that kabiesi can actually be what he is today because when you have a bright future this is how the devil will be fighting you it will striking you from east, west, north and south, to left and right, back and front. So, if a priest have said it that Kunomi is in the palace, to make Kabiesi a proud man, and that is why proud man, that is why they said that Kunomi, that Kabiesi cannot keep a, 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 a wife. Kabiesi is the man that cannot keep a wife. Because maybe Kunomi left the palace and stayed for how many years. Now Kunomi is back and they will see that Kabiesi can keep a, can keep a wife. Anyway, guys, don't forget that all of these are all alleged information. What I know is that Kabi's uh, Paropa's advice to Kabi to Queen Naomi is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. If it is me, that is the kind of advice I will even give. Avoid them so that they will, you you not talk say them do you you do them. I beg, avoid them, please. So that is the gist. Thank you, and don't forget that you give the video, you give my video a thumbs up. Uh, tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Share this video and the